Have you been looking for a way to improve your SEO rankings? Surfer SEO Chrome plugin is the best new web tool that will give you an edge. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm here today to talk to you about how easy it can be to get higher search engine rankings for your website. You don't have to be some tech guru or marketing guru to understand this one because it's just so simple. All you need is the right tools. And if you haven't heard already, Surfer SEO, then let me tell you, they're great at what they do. I've had so many of my articles rank high very quickly because of using this new method that I'm going to show you. I haven't really seen it approached this way. I'm sure there's something out there, but this is how I do it. First, we'll need two tools. You can do it without the first tool, but it'd be a lot more difficult. The main tool is Surfer SEO. Surfer SEO itself is a paid service. However, the plugin is absolutely free. I will have my links down below if you are interested. I am an affiliate of Surfer SEO and it would help me out a lot. There is a seven day trial for just $1. I suggest giving it a try and seeing how amazing this is. This is cutting edge and the other tools don't do the things they do. They approach it completely different. And I really enjoy how the plugin works. I'm learning more and more about the site and the plugin altogether. What we want to do is go to Content Planner. Content Planner has two options. It has keywords and it has domain. We're going to focus on keyword. So what you'd want to do is put the top level of the keyword you're trying to accomplish. If you are selling desks made of wood, maybe your keyword would be wooden desk. And then you would put in wooden desk and it would give you every other topic that you need to hit to be able to create authority in that area to land that keyword. If you think about it like a silo or a cluster, that's basically what it is. You can also do it for the domain. If you do it for your domain, it'll give you all the information you need and what keywords you need to search for your domain. It's pretty crazy. They just came out with that feature and it does take a while to run because it's still in beta, but that is pretty insane. Let's start off here and choose sandwich. We're always making guides about peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Say we're trying to score on the term sandwich altogether. So what we want to do is go ahead and hit create content planner and it's going to think it's going to take a moment because it's going through a lot of different things. It's searching all the SERPs, finding what's relevant, what competition it has and everything. All right, the term is now completed. It did take a little while. So usually I suggest Start this and then do something else. Give it about two or three minutes and then it should come through. If you live in another area, you can click this drop down menu and change where you're looking to target the keyword. It's United States by default. Here we come into the word sandwich. It has 121 clusters for the main topic. So what a cluster is, let's look at the first one here. And it says, what is club sandwich? So it's saying, if we want to get the keyword, what is club sandwich? This is one of the things we would target. And then we can go to click keywords and it'll pop up like this. Now what we could do is we could look at the article and see which ones we want to target. And we could say, okay, this one's get 1600 views a month. That's great. But the thing is, this is going to be a difficult keyword to get because it's 1600. So I wouldn't actually go for this. I would click off here. If I'm a new site, I'm looking for a low number here. And let's go down a bit. Cuban sandwich origin. Okay, that sounds interesting. 420 views a month. So let's look at these keywords. So we have 210, 140, 70. They're pretty spread apart there. So what I would do is say, okay, this may be one I want to target. So what do I want to do? I want to copy the keyword and now I'm going to go into Google. So now what I want to do is go into Google and I have Surfer SEO plugin here. It's free to get the Surfer Chrome SEO plugin. We're going to paste that Cuban sandwich origin and hit enter and we're going to let everything populate here. So this gets 210 searches per month, which is what we already know. There's no monetary competition on that. And then it's going to show the sites. It's going to show how many views this site gets. 
how many words are in the article. 3,000, that's pretty competitive right there. But let's see who else has something other than Wikipedia. History of the Cuban sandwich. Okay, that is not a keyword match. So if people ask the specific thing, we might be able to rank higher than this. Let's see, realist. I'm not familiar with that domain though. So, and they get a lot of traffic. Let's look through here. You get a little chart on the side as well. So you can look at the traffic real quick. You're looking at the smaller ones, 84,000, 40K. Go to words too and see how many words there are. So a thousand words on number three and they get about 85,000. So this looks like it would be a little difficult, but not completely difficult to rank for. As a new site, I would suggest not writing this article and I would go back and search for more. So let's do that. Again, we're looking for low ones here that are relevant. Types of breakfast sandwiches. Ooh, I feel like that'll be competitive. Let's try it though. Only takes a moment to search. 70, no exact keywords. 1200. Goodness. Spruce has everything. <laughs> so the traffic on these sites, I think I picked a, a too popular of a niche <laughs> for this example, unfortunately, and that happens. You can look at the word counts and they're not that crazy if you have a good amount of breakfast sandwiches. Let's try again. Who invented the chicken sandwich? Was it the chicken or the egg? First chicken sandwich was invented. Again, not exact keywords, but that's pretty close. I think you'd be able to rank for this one. I don't know if you'd be able to get first. But I definitely think you could do well. Let's look at the word counts. Yeah, look at the word counts are really low. I mean, this one's, I don't know, off the charts there. But a good 1500 word article. I think you'll do pretty good, especially if you could do some research. So this is one I would definitely try for personally. We look at the keywords, none are a match except for number nine. The number nine is the only one that is really long. And their traffic's not insane, 65,000. It's really good, but it's not insane. I think you'd be able to beat something like that. You also have a Quora here. You could beat that. So this is one I would do. I would rate this medium. So if I had a big list, I would probably do easy ones first. I usually rate easy, medium, hard for ones that I can rank for. And if I don't think I can rank, I don't even bother. I'll just come back to it in the future when my domain authority moves up. So when doing these keyword clusters, you want to make sure that you hit both keywords. Now this keyword's already in this keyword, but I would still make sure to say them separate, which will probably come automatically through writing the article. But just keep that in mind, especially if they're different. For example, if we did this one, you'd want what is a hoagie? And then you'd say that hoagie's definition is, or you know, you would look at which ones are worth going for. Like meaning of hoagie only gets 10 searches, or hoagie's meaning gets 320. So you would just remove the 10 and not focus on that one. I would usually cut the video off about now because you got an idea of how to rank. 
But I want to get some better examples. So if you're interested in sticking with, let's go ahead and give it another try. See if we can find something else as well. Is Subway a restaurant? That sounds, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, yeah. So. Is an American fast food. Okay, so they did nail it in Wikipedia. There's a lot of Subway articles. Oh my goodness, Subway like owns this. I don't know, I think I'd still go for this because you do have it here where it's saying, you know, Subway restaurant chain. You could reword it more for that article. Subway is a restaurant and it's classified as a restaurant because of you know, it could go further that way. So I would still break into this article. I would again say medium to hard, but the word counts are pretty low. So actually I'd probably go more of a medium. I'd probably go personally 1200 to 1500 words. I know that seems a little high, but I would try to beat everyone. Yeah, probably around 1,200, I think, would actually be good. And I use this method, and I rank pretty quick. And it's great when you can bottle a whole bunch of terms into one cluster. It's just, it's like, okay, I just nailed four keywords. Instead of making an article for each keyword, I was able to combine them all, and that one page ranks for all four of those. Or it may only rank for two, and because it ranks for two, it does well, and eventually it starts ranking for more. Anybody else getting hungry for sandwiches? Okay, open face sandwich definition. Let's give that one a try. Okay, Google's picking this one up and jumping right in here. Definition of open face sandwich. Yeah, it's probably not the greatest one to go with. You have all the dictionaries going after the same thing. If you see any that I go by that you think would be good, let me know down below. I do not work on this niche. This is the one I picked as an example for this channel. And it's becoming a little difficult. Battle of sandwiches. What's that all about? Yeah, these are ranked very well. Great traffic. Uh, let's look at the word count. Yeah, we're not going to go. We're not going to touch this one especially for having that low of volume. This McAllister Deli seems very popular. <laughs> They're dominating the sandwich area. Smoky Pepper Jack Turkey Sandwich. This gets 90 searches, dollar and one cent. That's pretty good on uh, the money part. Uh, 1.5 million, less than 400 words, but this is them. So maybe if you did a review on the sandwich, Looks like they already have the calorie information. Someone else does. There's Pinterest here. So that looks like that's something that you can get in on. You probably won't get first, but you could probably get on the first page here in time because the keywords drop off here for a bit. Actually, it is there. Let's look at the wording. So yeah, there's some that don't even have words or they're low words. Yeah, I would take this and I would run with a thousand words. And I have a feeling this one would be pretty good. So this is one I would go with. You're going to need a thousand words on this and you should be able to get by. This number nine is showing 2000 words. No exact keyword. So it's not the exact keyword, it's split up. But they did a 2000 word article and they got number nine right now. A uh, thousand to 1500 would be beneficiary and you, I think you could get to the top with this. Like I said, maybe not be McAllister because it is their sandwich. But I think you'd do pretty well with this one. So I would definitely run with this one. 
So that's just another example, but I hope you get the idea. Then when I write this article, I would take these four keywords, I would copy this, and I would paste it in, and I would try to make these all subheadings if I could. If you have Surfer SEO, you could just click Create Content Editor. It'll create a content edi editor for just one credit. It's not gonna use four credits, and it's gonna mix all of this into one article for you. It'll tell you exactly how many keywords you need, how many times you have to use each word. You just have to make sure the competition's correct. I have a video on that already on how to use the content editor. I'm gonna put it at the end of this video so you can check that out. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching.